Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to update your Google Pixel smartphone using Pixel Flasher. So first thing first, we need to download Pixel Flasher and you save it to your PC. Then you download the OTA image file specific to your Pixel model. You set up ADB and Fastboot. You install Google USB driver and you download and extract Google Platform tools, which I have done so here. Then you go on your phone, you enable developer option and USB debugging. After all this, you open Pixel Flasher. Once you open Pixel Flasher, first thing you are going to do is load Android platform tools. Click browse, then you go to the folder in which we extract platform tools. And you select the folder. It's going to display the version of the platform tools. You can see version 3.35.01. So next is to connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable. So you connect your phone. Once you do that, you click scan. It's going to detect your phone. So you can see mine has been detected. Then you load the OCA image that you downloaded. Go to the device image section. You click browse. And you load the OCA image. So this is my blue line OTA. So you double click on it and you wait a moment for it to load. So it's loaded, then you click process. When you click that, it's going to extract the boost image or in it dot boost image for Pixel 7 device and newer models. So you click process and you wait a moment for it to do that. So that is done. So you select your boot image displayed on the screen. Then you click flash device. It's going to show you another window showing the flash options. Just click OK. You can see here flash mode OTA. So you can just click OK. It's going to begin the process. Your phone is going to reverse to sideload mode. And the update is going to start immediately. So as you can see, update successful. So you can just reboot our phone. In the recovery, just click on reboot system now, and that's that.
in some cases the updates might show an error it might stop at 94 percent 93 percent don't worry it's normal so you just reboot your phone 